this Viking compass is actually called Big Vizier. And it's what the Vikings used to paint on their boats so that the gods would help them find their way back home. But um, so the, the story I was thinking about today is uh, simply the, the last one, Ragnarok. This will be the time of the terrible winter that will not end. The earthquakes will be so great that all bonds and shackles and fetters will be destroyed. All of them. It's the end of the world. And it's not the end of the... The difference is that it's not the end of the human world. Only, you know. It's the end of everything. Gods. Humans. Everything. Hopla. Fenrir, the great wolf, will free himself from his shackles, his mouth will gap, his upper jaw will reach the heavens, the lower jaw will touch the earth. There is nothing he cannot eat, nothing he will not destroy. Flames come from his eyes and his nostrils. The Midgard serpent, huge and dangerous, will arrive in its fury closer and closer to the land. The venom from his fangs will spill into the water, poisoning all of the sea life. It will spatter its black poison into the air in a fine spray, killing all of the sea birds that breathe it. The, the Midgard serpent, that's also one of the sons of, of Loki. The inner runes. The inner symbols. Well then, what do they exactly mean? I think nobody really knows. Like these symbols inside of Big Vizier. It's like uh, symbols like Valknut or um, the Helm of Awe. At the end of the day, I think it's just a bit speculation what, what people think it means. Which is, which is a pretty nice uh, a legend will battle Fenrir bravely, but the wolf is more vast and more dangerous than anything could possibly be. It is bigger than the sun, bigger than the moon. Odin thrusts into its mouth with his spear, but one snap of Fenrir's jaw and the spear is gone. Another bite and a crunch and a swallow and Odin, the old father, greatest and wisest of all the gods, is gone as well. Never do be seen again. Thor will finally kill the Midgard Serpent, as he has wanted to do for so long. Thor smashes the Great Serpent's brain in with his hammer. He will leap back at the, as the sea snake's head tumbles onto the battlefield. Thor is a good nine feet away from it when his head crashes to the ground. But that is not far enough. Yeah, I'm making now, so we have our compass, our Viking compass here. And I'm putting some... Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to put some colors inside of the compass. I just want it to turn around. It reminds me a bit of like movies like Pocahontas where when there's a compass, all of the leaves just swirl around the compass. It gives it gives a bit of a secret vibe to this compass. So okay, I think I'm done. Look at it. So uh, basically, yeah, I put, uh, I made Vecvisid at the end in gold, in a very nice and shiny gold in the sun to make it a precious look, a sacred look. And then I drew all around, I painted some shapes and of different colors. I used uh, uh, some kind of brown reddish black and uh, dark blue to show the movement that's going all around the compass of the air you know like it's a compass it's it's in the middle of the world it uh, shows you the right direction and there's things swirling all around non-stop 
Here's the final product, available on my Etsy now.